Look at these new viral stick figure animation channels. One of them got 138,000 subscribers with just 18 videos. Want to know how to make these animations yourself? Let's get started. First of all, we need to create a script for our video. Here's a tip. Stick figure animations are mostly suitable for motivational content, lifestyle, and health-related topics. To generate a script, we can use ChatGPT. Simply enter this prompt into ChatGPT. Write a short video script for a stick figure animation on your topic. ChatGPT will generate the script for you in seconds. Once you have the script, copy it and move to the next step. Now, we need to create the voiceover. There are several AI tools you can use for this, such as Plate, Murph AI, Eleven Labs, etc. But for this tutorial, we will use TDSFree, which offers free and realistic AI voiceovers. To start, open your browser and go to tdsfree.com. If you don't have an account, click Sign Up, enter your email, and create a password. Once logged in, go to the Text-to-Speech section. Now, paste your script into the text box. Choose a voice that fits your video. You can adjust pitch and speed, but for a natural sound, leave them at default. Click Generate and wait a few seconds for the audio to process. Once ready, click Download and save the file as MP3 on your computer. Now, we will enhance the quality of our voiceover. First, search for Adobe Podcast on Google and click on the first link. You'll be directed to a clean, impressive dashboard. Here, click on Enhance Speech. Upload the audio file you just downloaded, and Adobe's tool will process it to improve the audio quality, making it clearer and more professional. Once the process is complete, download the enhanced audio file. Now we have both the script and the high-quality voiceover for our video. Let's move on to the next important step, which you've been waiting for. Now, to create the stick animation, open your browser and go to canva.com. If you don't have an account, click Sign Up, enter your email, and create a password. Once logged in, click Create a Design at the top right. In the search bar, type Video 1920 by 1080 and select it to open a new project. Now, we need to add the voiceover. Click Uploads on the left sidebar, then click Upload Files and select your MP3 file. Once uploaded, drag the audio file onto the timeline at the bottom. Next, adjust the first slide to match the length of the audio. Click on the slide, then drag its edge on the timeline to extend or shorten it. This will be the base for your animation. Now that our project is set up, it's time to create the animation. First, setting the background. On the left sidebar, click Background. In the search bar, type Paper Texture and press Enter. Choose a simple, light textured background that isn't too distracting. Click on it, and it will be applied to the first slide. To make it look cleaner, click the Transparency icon, checkerboard symbol at the top right, and reduce the transparency slightly. Second, syncing scenes with voiceover. Press play on the timeline to listen to your voiceover. Whenever a new idea or sentence starts, stop the playback and split the scene. Click on the slide, then press S on your keyboard to split it. Do this throughout the timeline to create multiple slides that match the narration. Third, adding stick figures. Now, let's add characters. Click Elements in the left sidebar and search for stick figure in the search bar. To keep the style consistent, type Zedin Sask and press Enter you will see a collection of high-quality stick figures. Click on any figure you like and drag it onto the slide. If you need more options, click View More by this creator below the stick figure. This will show other matching designs. Resize and position the figure properly. If you need different poses, add multiple figures on different slides. For TH, adding movements and animations. To make the stick figures move, click on the figure then click Animate at the top. A menu will appear with different effects. Choose Rise for simple movement. Use Pop to make the figure appear dynamically. Click Play to preview the effect. If needed, adjust the duration slider to slow down or speed up the animation. Now, adding text and icons. Click Text from the left sidebar 
and select Add a Heading. Type your text and place it where needed. For a hand-drawn style, use fonts like Chewy or Caveat. To add icons, go to Elements and search for keywords related to your video. Drag icons onto the slides, resize them, and adjust their placement. Last, fine-tuning the timing. Click on the three dots at the top of any element and select Show Element Timing. This will let you control when each item appears on the timeline. Adjust the timing so text, figures, and icons match the narration perfectly. Now, your animation is ready. Let's finalize and export the video. Before exporting, play the entire animation from the start to check if everything syncs properly with the voiceover. If any scene feels too fast or too slow, adjust the timing by dragging the edges of the slides in the timeline. If you need to fix any animation, click on the element, go to Animate, and adjust the effect or speed. Make sure text and icons appear at the right moments to match the narration. Once everything looks good, it's time to export the video. Click Share at the top right, then select Download. In the Download settings, choose MP4, Video, for the best quality. Keep the resolution at 1080p for clear visuals. Click download and wait for Canva to process the video. Now, your animation is ready. You can upload it to YouTube, TikTok, or any platform. Congratulations on creating your stick figure animation.